Okay, everyone, here we go. So we're going to try to get them, move them hips. Mate, I've, I've never felt me tits jiggle so much in all my life. <laughs> So you know, you know. Would you rather? Yeah, we love a good game of Would You Rather, don't we? Yeah, it's it's single handedly one of the greatest games ever. We always say it's what girls always think. Lads are talking about nonsense uh, when they're in the pub and stuff like that. But actually, all we're saying is, Would you rather do this? Yeah, they they think we're out cheating when really <laughs> we'll be ask, we're, we'll be asking questions like this, Al. Would you rather sit on a cake and eat dick or sit on a dick and eat cake? <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. That's, um... It, one man's delicacy is another man's <laughs> hell. I mean, this is... To if, some... you are, if, you're a, if you're a homosexual man who enjoys cake, my God. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people out there that are going to read this and go, that's really hard. But yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. They know, well, they're going to go, no, actually, this is lovely. This is a home away from home. But I want to know your take on it. Would I rather eat dick and sit on cake or sit on dick sit and on eat cake. cake? Yeah, yeah. Right. What would you rather do? What's the cake? Your favourite cake. Oh, God. Your fa- your most favouritest of cakes. I'm not naming a cake because I'll go. I'll say carrot cake. You know, you know what? Like you'd, carrot ha- cake. you'd have to sit on the dick, wouldn't you? Because at least you get some enjoyment <laughs> out of eating the cake. <laughs> I said I'd sit on dick and cake at the same time. Yeah, fuck it. What a mess! <laughs> All right, okay. I've got one here now. That is a little bit. Um, it's definitely safe for work, but it's a little bit, um, I don't know what the word is, um, but I'll give it to you anyway, right? Go on. Would you rather, Al, it's very personal, this one, to never love or to never be loved? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, that is horrendous, isn't it? Isn't that a good one? That's it's dark, is what it is. Never love or never be loved. To never love or to never be loved. I feel like I'm on the cusp of a Shakespearean sonnet. And live in ne- and live in Neverland. Yeah. No, don't add to it, Al, right? To love <laughs> or to never be loved. Um Well, you know Well, it's just it's a tough one, isn't it? Because you're either being selfish or selfless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh but it's my life, isn't it? So yeah. To uh, the I'm ego go, in me. I'm gonna go with to never love. Yeah, same. The ego in me wants me to be loved, even though I never will love. Yeah, but which the, is ridiculous because I'm yeah. massively in love. Oh mate. And you're loved. <laughs> <laughs> and very much loved. Alright, back to our regular regular schedule program and Al. Would you rat Oh no, we'll be back we'll be back to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a yeah, few go, more for you. Okay, I'll okay, fire okay, through yeah. them. Would you rather have penis-sized nipples or nipple-sized penis? Jesus, pe- penis-sized nipples. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to wear a t-shirt. You just have massive you'd, nipples. You'd fashion, you'd fashion some out of them. You'd have like it. It look like you have really thin breasts. We know a guy, don't we? Friend of the show. <laughs> yeah. With um, and he knows who he is. I don't know if we should name names here. No, well, I don't think we will. But all he, I'll he say knows is, who he is, and yeah, you, you tell our listeners just what you did. Well, they were that they were that long and that you know protruding. I was once able to hang a shirt off them with a hanger on a hanger. Yeah, he's got what I refer to as pig tits. <laughs> <laughs> but he's in, he's in he's not like he's in bad shape. He's just got. No. Lengthy, what are they yeah. called? Um, 
the actual area of the nipple that is the uh the, oh I don't know I know the areola is the um is that the is the outside bit yeah or like the like the Stevie Wonder nipples yeah with yeah the braille yeah. With the braille the, on the, the outside Stevie Wonder nipples okay I'd be the same Al I'd the find light. a way to I'd find a way to strap them down mate I'd be I'd be uh, using them to rub stuff off paper using them as rubbers. <laughs> Every time I, I, I got I've, every time I got my maths wrong, oh god, yeah. top up. I think I'd I think I'd become genuinely, uh, really obsessed with my own nipples. You have, or, fair, you, right? or you would? No, I think if I had penis sized ones, I would be. To so be fair, I am. On, I'm on pretty uh, obsessed with my nipples anyway. Just uh, uh, on a normal day, they yeah. they droop like a a flaccid penis. Yeah, and then when it's cold, you'll have erect, very erect penis nipples. You're going to have to get some oversized clothing, aren't you? <laughs> I mean, you'll be rocking it in winter, but summertime, when I want to put me North Face t-shirts on, no chance. Mate. All right, I'll give you another one. All right, here we go. Would you rather have teeth instead of pubes or pubes instead of teeth? What? Would you rather have... <laughs> Would you rather have teeth instead of pubes or pubes instead of teeth? That's fucking horrendous, mate. So you'd either have, yeah, instead of yeah, teeth, yeah, yeah, you yeah. just have a mouthful of pubes or instead of pubes, you just have loads of teeth down there. Oh my God, that is horrendous. Isn't that grim? But then the feeling, I don't know, I feel like you'd feel, you would feel the hair in your mouth well more than you would the... yeah. Yeah, but that being said, you know, you you know, a, 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 a anybody who's going down there to pleasure thyself, right? It's getting down there and you've got it all going on down there like the mouth of predator. Yeah, but surely you could train it. Train what? To to not attack. It it hasn't got a life of its own. You've just got a set of teeth down there, you fucking weirdo. Why has it got a life of its own? Oh that that's what I mean. Well that you know, that's fine. It's just then, a set it? of teeth down there. As long as it's not like a horror film. No, well, it's gonna look like a fucking horror film. Remember that? Remember that? Um, remember that film Teeth with that woman? That's what I mean. Teeth? Yeah. Oh, I see. No, it's got no life of its own. Well then, well, I'll I'll go for the I'll go for that then because last thing I want is a fucking blue whale mouth. Then fucking oh, yeah. pubes filtering teeth. all the filtering all the krill out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll give you one last one. All right, and I think this one. Is would also apply to someone that we know very well. We won't name names. Would you? <laughs> would you rather your dad walking on your fucking the dog, or your dog walking in on your fucking your dad? <laughs> oh my days! <laughs> oh my days! Now either either way, someone's scarred. The issue there is, my dog's a gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog is a gossip. <laughs> My dog is a gossip, so everyone in town will know. She grasped on me, big style. <laughs> um, yeah, we know the friend, don't we? Yeah, and he doesn't yeah. have to, he doesn't have to do a would you rather because his dad's nope. already walked in on him. Yeah, several times, and not even just like not not just fucking it like you've said, like proper going to town on it. I'm gonna have to pressure Al. What are you gonna have? Um, what's worse? What's worse? A eh? fucking the dog, or fucking your dad. Either way, it's not getting out, is it? Because your dad's gonna be mortified. Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. The, yeah. The, the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's grim. I, I it? thought so too, but you know, there you go. So there it is. What Would a, you rather? What, what a horrendous opening to the show. Well, it wouldn't be the show unless we didn't that open with something horrendous. No. I've got more horrendous stuff for you. You know, everyone, I've had loads of people messaging me this week saying, can you do more Wish stuff? Really, yeah? Yeah, but that's, I, I want to make a, a small disclaimer here for anyone who's like, oh, yeah, it's so funny. My analytics now is ruined. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Utterly, utterly ruined. I don't like social media anyway, as you know, right? Yeah. But now, all of a sudden... It's trying to sell me all kinds. Penis pumps. Arsecapers. Arsecapers. Oh, mate. Let me tell you. 
I wrote one down here for you, right? Ask gapers. Right, and it was uh, it's being it's being sold on on Wish as new game for the anus. Okay. Right. The monopoly an, the monopoly of anus games. <laughs> right. And it is and it is called an arse dilator. Okay. And he just put someone had put on here needed to be one centimeter bigger. Uh, ended up frosting my boyfriend's face with shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> End up frosting <clears throat> my boyfriend's Frost, face. Frosting like a cake. Which oh, you'll be enjoying. We've, we've had enough cake. Dick. Yeah, we've had enough <laughs> cake. <laughs> All right, another one. This is for a bondage mask. Yeah. Right? This actually made me laugh. Uh, this may be arrive in seconds. Can't wait for the wife to enslave me over Easter. <laughs> I can't, can't wait for the wife to enslave, <laughs> enslave me. Enslave me over Easter? He's Jesus. waiting for Easter. This family. What? Yeah. As a good old-fashioned Easter egg hunt gone out the window. Yeah, no chance. Your father's getting enslaved Just with a, a gimp mask. After a trip to church. Go to church. Get say, back. You know, say our Lord's Prayer. Get back. Kids are playing with their chocolate eggs. You get enslaved by the wife. <sighs> Jesus. Easy. Done deal. 2021, eh? The world's gone mad. Another one. These are two here. This made me laugh. This was for a penis enlarger with yeah. pump, right? And one person just put, it sucks. Obviously. So I, was, I thought that was hilarious. I was like, are you, is this negative or are you just being really obvious? Oh, mate. And then the other one was, what can I say? This has by far been the greatest purchase I've ever made. And I've bought a Samsung 65-inch OLED TV before. <laughs> so, so you know where I'm coming from. It made my pe- <laughs> it made my penis look like a weapon of mass destruction. Gone are the days and looking like a midget's thumb poking in a bush. Al, he knows what he's talking about. He's 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 purchased a sixty-five inch he, Samsung he, OLED TV. He has. <laughs> he, we're, we're discussing a man who's made some serious purchases in his life. Yeah, he's like, look, I know exactly what I'm talking about. I've bought a big telly before, which is like thousands of pounds but he spent 4.99 on a penis and larger <laughs> fair dues i i actually gen i love the general public's response to things like these reviews are just great to see like what people are quite happy posting and then yeah, yeah, yeah. last night i don't know if you saw but the echo liverpool echo put a post out and it said what are you hoping for for tomorrow's lockdown roadmap announcement and a guy called Steve Lomas, who's just pictured up with a mask on. He's put low mask. He's put allowing brothels to reopen. <laughs> right, <coughs> followed by, I spent a fortune converting my loft into one during the first lockdown, only for the second lockdown to happen. Still hoping for big things this year for gash in the attic. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Gash in the... <laughs> Gash in the attic. Gash in the attic. Oh, fucking hell. Yeah, oh, mate. Some people... <laughs> I just love that that's on the Echo. There's genuinely, like, other people commenting, like, can't wait to hug my nan. And, and then uh, yeah, just... Yeah. He's just brought that in. Great. Gash in the attic. One of my favourite ones I'd ever seen was about nans. And it was when lockdown had come in, where you couldn't go around to someone's house, but, like, all, like, the... The theme parks and everything was open. There's yeah, some feather yeah. put. Can't go round to give me Nana a hug, but I can go on the Nemesis with her at Alton Towers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mate, loved that. And, and and in theme with this podcast, I also enjoyed the um, only way I'm going to get to hug my Nan at this rate is if we combine <laughs> to score the winner <laughs> at the cop end. <laughs> Mate. Well, can hell, I'll take anyone at the moment to score at the cop end. Oh, bloody hell. Let's not get into that, eh? <laughs> yeah. So um, speaking of messages, you've had some messages asking for wish reviews. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes. I've had a lot of messages this week, mate, um, and they are all asking what happened to Slander Hour. Oh well, let me tell you a little bit something about Slander Hour. It's big. It's back, and it's better than ever.
Power. <laughs> Oh my days, mate. It's got a theme tune. What do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, our good friend, Tom Wilson, once again, hooked Tom, us up big style. Tom Wilson, genius of jingles, is back with yeah. another one. And I'm so, a big fan of it, so welcome oh, to Slander we Hour. Love it because it, it, it comes in with what we like, you know, almost pornographic. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you're wondering. I just want to make a small caveat to people, though, before we do start Slander Hour. I've had a lot of people messaging me about Slander Hour, and I think people are under the assumption that I'm a miserable person. <laughs> I, I'm not you know, a miserable person. No, you're actually one of the... Uh, you are one of the most jovial people I know. Yeah, um, yeah. However, yeah. you know, the, the, the Slander Hour part of these episodes doesn't really help that. No. Well, I'll get straight into it, Al. First thing, slander hour. I'll tell you what really fucks me off. Zumba. Sorry? Zumba. Oh, you, you're you not a fan of Zumba? No, I fucking hate it, Al. What, what a waste of 20 minutes. <laughs> what a fucking what? waste of 20 minutes. Why would you know anything about Zumba? Well, I'll tell you for why, right? So, you know, obviously we're all in lockdown and stuff. And, yeah. you know, people are keeping fit and stuff. Which I'm loving the fact that people are keeping fit. Just don't rub it in my fucking face. I just I don't. I don't care. I don't care, Al. I don't <laughs> care. Okay. Uh, I know. Oh yeah, I made a, uh, a fucking pancake Tuesday's just been. Oh yeah, I made myself a protein pancake. Get to fuck. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, right. So I got up one morning, and my girlfriend, right. You know she's really good on her fitness and that. She's yeah. always doing different bits like she does yoga, Pilates, and she's yoga with Adrian. A yoga with Adrian. And she does all kinds, right? She amazes me. And she got up one morning and she said, I'm going to do some Zumba. Do you fancy some Zumba? I thought, yeah, go on. I can do some Zumba if you want. 20 minutes, I'll... 20 minutes, I'm not getting back. Did you Did you know what Zumba was before you started it? No. So no, you I didn't. didn't know that it was like like dancing and movement? To no, I did. Right? I had no idea. And it, was not, it wasn't fair, Al. I think she set me up to fail. <laughs> Because what? it was it was just twenty minutes of okay here we go all right here we are shake shake it here we go right to the left ha ha to the right ha ha yeah okay now we're gonna try again now <laughs> you know the drill I don't know the fucking drill at all and I'm fucked off because now I feel silly everyone else is sweating in the side of it and I'm not I'm up the fucking wall with it twenty minutes went by Al I did it barefoot. Oh, okay, everyone, here we go. So we're gonna try to get them, move them hips. Mate, I've, I've never felt me tits jiggle so much in all my life. <laughs> oh, mate, oh, stupid, mate. I've stupid. I've never wished I could have been a fly on the wall more than in your front room watching you do some zumba. Well, we were doing it, and we were doing it right, and we were using a phone. And she just had it propped up. I think she pays for like it to have like all different things and that. And she was loving it. Al, me my girlfriend's got a background in dancing. Yeah. You know, the whole nine yards, performing the whole lot. So she just looked effortless and graceful doing yeah. it. Mm-hmm. And I just looked like a fat has been, just like <laughs> not even sweating, just totally fucked off with the whole thing. I was up the wall with it, Al. So will you be going back for the next class? Absolutely fucking not. Bloody hell. Absolutely fucking not. Well, and he made me do all kinds. Made me shake me hips. He was doing all kinds of movements. I'm doing the movements I, I right now, Al. You can see them. <laughs> no all one that else. Nonsense. No one else can see. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, <laughs> and the, <laughs> and the, if you just like to do that again, I'll give the, like, I'll give okay, the. Okay, everyone, here we go. Try it now. Just crossing his arms across just his crossing face. Crossing my arms. <laughs> I can't. And it was like doing it. And it was like, okay, to the left. All right. Doing where's a great this, job. Where's this and he kept fella saying from? to me, he kept, uh, I don't, well, it looked like he was in Miami or somewhere. And he kept going, good job. I was like, don't fucking patronize me. <laughs> you horrible twat. Anyway. Oh my God. So that's, that's the first. Th- that's the first thing. Second. Oh, there's a yeah, second yeah. one this week, actually, because we missed... I've got two double-ended, yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I fucking hate. Go on. Po- political correctness. Oh, well. 
we can't say anything anymore. Uh, I mean, we can't say. Listen, I'm all for changing the vocab on a lot of things, right? Yeah. Because that's progressive. I absolutely understand that. But at what point, like, we're going mad here, Al. I was telling you, wasn't I? I woke up the other morning, and I think it's an old clip, right? And it was Good Morning Britain. I don't like Piers Morgan. I think he's a waste of blood and organs, to yeah, say the very yeah, least, yeah, right? Yeah. He just wants to get a rise out of people. But he, I was genuinely doing the same face as he was when he had a guest on, and she was saying, when you're changing a baby's nappy, you need to ask for the baby's permission. <laughs> I mean, that's just horrendous. Wait, it's like political correctness. It's all gone mad. And I'll tell you another thing as well. Vegans. <laughs> right, okay. Vegans can get in a bin as well. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not I'm not entirely sure if b- babies not giving consent to being changed by their parents, their, having their nappies changed, is, uh, is an injustice to society. But then they go with... Uh, well, how, how does a baby give consent? And she goes, oh, he just gives off a vibe, doesn't he? I thought, get me off this fucking planet right now. <laughs> I think you've felt that a few things this weekend. Oh, what, get me off this planet? Yeah, I really, really have. In the quite literal sense. Because you're a fan of space. Listen, Al, right. I am a fan of space, right? Space in itself is fucking phenomenal, right? Yeah. But... It's like we need to be more we need to be more mindful of just how vast space is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'll tell you what happened. We got beat at the weekend. I stuck on Interstellar, right? Yeah, you did. And then I stuck on and then I stuck on a uh, a documentary on black holes because I really wanted to feel like we're fuck all in the grand scheme of the cosmos. I mean, it's a great it's a great way to deal with such a horrendous loss. That there's there's so much more to to life than, yeah, exactly. than Everton winning at Anfield. Well, we'll get to that, right? We'll get to that. But I'm telling you, Al, there are some black holes, right, that are so massive, if you cross the vent horizon of them, right, because they're spherical, right, it'll suck you past in. What? They'll suck you past in, Al. They'll suck you past in? I put some black hole, not your pasta, your past. <laughs> <laughs> They're so vast. I've heard this. They'll, they'll suck your past in. I've actually heard this, but about a, a prostitute in Miami. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's, guys, well done. Here we go. She's so, fuck. She's so powerful. She'll suck your past in. I'm telling you, mate. You want it? You ever want to think about the 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 you know uh, the absolute vastness of space? It will truly terrify you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just think about it, right? I was listening to a thing on Brian Cox the other day, right? I think he was on Joe Rogan. And Joe Rogan was like, is there life outside of here? And he doesn't believe that there is in our Milky Way. But he said, beyond that, it's mathematically impossible that there's not life beyond it. Yeah. So, there you go. You can't get to our age, can you, and think that it's just us? No. And why would you want to, like, think it's just us? You just hope it doesn't turn out like Mars attacks when they turn up and just kick (laughs) off. (laughs) But, right, that did, right, I think that comes off the back of me having a very, very good week. Yeah? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 And And I said a while back to you, didn't I? I said, we should celebrate when we do good stuff. Yeah. And I think having a good week should also be celebrated as much as having a bad week. And yeah, I've yeah. had a really excellent week. I may, I'm made up for you. Yeah, I, tr- I really, really have, yeah. And like, no jokes aside. Uh, sorry, jokes aside, I've had a really good week. It's been no, great. No jokes aside. No jokes aside. On this podcast, jokes. on this podcast, <laughs> do not put your jokes aside. <laughs> hey, I've had a really good week. Mate, yeah, it's been, buzzing I for felt, you. Yeah, give I've me had, some. Really good give week. me some highs. Um, let's have a think. Um, I think I've just been. I've just kept busy. Yeah, yeah. A lot more this week. So you know, we've been doing more stuff with the podcast and planning and stuff like that, which is great. And that's made me feel really excited for like different stuff. Um, and then I didn't make any bread this week. I didn't feel oh. like I needed to make any bread this week. Yeah, so that was good. That's good. Mm-hmm. I'd be making flatbreads instead. Have you actually, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dead simple, mate. 200 grams of flour, 
Uh, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda, quarter a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of oil. Bang. Bang. So, uh, yeah. All done. Really good week. All, all done and dusted by the time you finish Zumba. Well, I, 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 look, fuck Zumba, right? <laughs> you know I hate Zumba. I don't want to bring it up again. Fuck Zumba. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some of my truly best friends are vegans. And they know I have mild discontent for their veganism. I've got a question for you here. Okay, go on, fair man. If two vegans are arguing, is it still considered beef? <laughs> it. <laughs> if two. <laughs> yeah. If two vegans fall over in the woods, does anyone care? <laughs> does a bear <laughs> shit on them? <laughs> Horrendous. I, no, because it's always like, oh, are you eating Harry Bow, are you there? It's got beef gelatin in. Yeah, I'd drink beef gelatin if I got the fucking chance. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I would drink beef gelatin. Uh, so, I've got another question you. for you here. Oh, fire away. You've worked at, um, at Apple before, haven't you? I have, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know if Apple made a car? Yes. Do you reckon it still have windows? Ah, very good. I have seen that before. Would it have windows? It was some of my greatest times working for Apple. They're fantastic. Why aren't Apple chargers called Apple Juice? Oh, yes. That would be very be good. good. Yeah, yeah. They're great. I-, I love Apple. One that's a bit off the wall. Yeah. Um, You know when we yawn, do you think deaf people think we're screaming? Uh... <laughs> Or a ghost sticking stuff in our gobs. Oh yeah, just a little <laughs> cake, cake or dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's very silly this week. Jesus, <laughs> how are well, you feeling, Al? I'm glad you've been feeling better. Yeah, I've been feeling okay, mate. Like you said, I think uh, the past couple of weeks we've been a lot busier, haven't we? When than than we have. In weeks leading up to it, so I think we, you know, your mind's a bit more focused. Mm. Um, I think we, you know, we're, we're we sort of know we're getting closer to a time where things are going to be a bit, bit more normal. Um, yeah, we had the roadmap today, didn't we? Just literally yeah, yeah. before we came on to do um, this, which is which is good. Um, strange one for me is I've, I've had, I, I think we're missing big occasions, which is a bit of a gets yeah do you know what i mean like my nan's yeah. 80 on saturday and it should oh, yeah. should be a mega occasion for mm. for the family do you know what i mean and speaking to me granddad and the phone and stuff like that gets you a bit down thinking you know we we should all be together and we should all be celebrating but obviously we won't be which is which is a massive massive shame yeah and you gotta i think, know what you mean like, my uh my girlfriend's family throughout the whole year They've missed two 50th birthdays, uh, a 50th wedding anniversary, an 18th and a 21st. Fucking hell. It's, and you just think, like, how many people must be missing those big occasions with their families where there'd usually, there'd usually be some big parties going on, mate? Well, we we, were, we had, um, last year, it was my mum's 60th, bless yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, she, she, you know, we ended up uh, not being able to celebrate that. We were meant to have a big party and stuff. And I know exactly what you mean. It, it's like you do feel out, you do feel like you're missing out on those really important things. I'm a, I'm a big believer of when we come out of this, we say, "Well, fuck it," you know, d- act like that year didn't exist. Yeah, yeah. And 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 plan your stuff accordingly when we can, you know. Yeah, yeah. But it's um, you're right. And even though like I've had like a really good week of feeling quite positive and like deciding to make certain choices in my life that that are going to come up you know it, it's still all right to be like to be fucked off about not being able to do those things yeah as well. i think it's you know more I, mean? I think it's less of a feeling um less of a feeling down and more of a being pissed off i think you're right there yeah um yeah and uh, get angry get angry at you know the fact that you couldn't do those things get angry at this government you've every right to be angry at this government yeah, yeah, yeah. you know 100 100 million percent oh mate i'm the articles just keep racking up, don't they, about how they've profiteered off off all of this? Yeah, uh, the people. The thing is, though, people are surprised, 
Right, this is such a Tory thing to do is to profiteer off something like this. We've got a a good friend, a very good friend of the show, my mate back from college days, Adam Parkinson. I was messaging him over the weekend. One one of many who's been saying that they're really enjoying it and it's helping them. But he made a really good point about the Tory government saying that they're just profiteering opportunistic bastards that, <laughs> that if it benefited them to be hippies, they'd turn tomorrow. Yo, oh, oh, 100%. They're just 100%. Spi- they're spineless, absolutely spineless, man. Yeah, yeah. And it, but it doesn't shock me in the slightest. Although you know, saying that, I did see a crowd funder going the other day to get Keir Starmer a spine, which, you know... Yeah, he's, 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 he's not been great at all. He's been quite spineless. I don't know whether he's just trying to buy time or what, but it's now's not the time to buy time. You know, at least align yourself with trying to help in terms of this lockdown and stuff. But, you know, by all intents and purposes, this, this Tory government needs to be held accountable. You know, so... I don't know. It, 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 it's one of them, but it's like I try and uh, not bog myself down too much with their operate with, with their goings on because that could just add another layer to whatever you feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, like, I've really had to. I think what I've learned in this past week is to is to almost um, simplify the way I'm, I'm I'm thinking. You know, and, and go okay. You need to instead of t- trying to think on a on a mask grand scale i remember talking about having no direction and stuff i'm like okay well simplify that to to sizable chunks you know and and start going by it on a more like a day on day basis you know i think i was making the assumption of going month by month i'm like well you don't even know what you're doing tomorrow so what's the point in doing it like that you know yeah it's it but yeah like you said it could just be a whole new layer of of oh my god what's going on if you got bogged yeah. down in the politics of everything at the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but, um, yeah, I think we've had a really good week and, you know, feeling much better. Everything's back to normal. Well, it's not everything's normal or back to normal, but I feel a lot more normal, which is the best thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, like you said, it's, it's good to have things to look forward to and things to do. Yeah, and looking at this roadmap today, we might, we might have some kind of indication of some kind of normality. You might think, fingers might crossed. be able to to hug our hug our nans when we score the winner at Cop End, like we said. Oof, imagine that, eh? Someone someone's gonna do it soon, eh? <laughs> I'd just like to hug someone else. Full stop. <laughs> other than other than yourself, or uh, well, me hugging myself, being doing that thing in the mirror where you pretend you're kissing someone. Do you? That was hilarious. No. <laughs> yeah. <I do. laughs> And uh, yeah, so besides that, let's carry on, eh? We're we're feeling good. Keep calm and carry on. (laughs) Fuck off. (laughs) Right hand, shall we uh, talk some football? Um, no. Yeah, I don't really fancy it either. (laughs) Maybe let's just skip it this week. Yeah. Oh, what about that weather? Did you see any of the? <laughs> did you see any of um, the the hockey scores at the weekend? I did. Yes, the um, the Penguins did well. Yeah, they did against the um, the <laughs> Walrus. Let's address the elephant in the room, Al. Okay. Let's let's just get it out the way. Let's just say what happened, and then we can move on. Would you agree? Yeah. So, we had a very good result midweek for the Champions League. Very true. A very good 2-0 win against a very good Leipzig. They're, a, the good, they're a very good side. Um, and then it comes to Saturday, uh, and we got beat 2-0. Uh, a 2-0 win followed by a 2-0 defeat. Yeah. Um, got beat 2-0. Got so, uh, um I yeah, let let's start midweek for Liverpool. Um I I I, I didn't rate us at all, if I'm honest, and I, they made two pretty shoddy mistakes and we and we capitalised and scored from them both. Um I think that's a little bit unfair. I think we were we were half decent in terms of just controlling the game. I think, that, I think I think we've controlled most games we've been in. I think like Yeah. We've had good possession of the ball. We've controlled the pace of the game. 
we've just made we've made mistakes and also not taken our chances. Um mm. and then and then around the the half an hour mark we look like we're out of ideas and we we get a bit like oh what should we do here? Um yeah. I don't, which is just a bit I don't know. I, I think midweek I I thought they made two mistakes. We capitalised on the two mistakes. I can't, for the life of me, think of another moment where we might have scored in the game. Um, no. But there were some really good positives. Like I thought, Curtis Jones again was fantastic. Yeah. Um, I thought, what's the new lad's name? I always forget. Kabak. 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 Oh, was it Ozan Kabak or something? Ozan Kabak. Yeah. I thought he did all right. I th- you know, I thought he he was he was well paired with. Jordy Anderson, he was yeah. clearly just barking orders at him, um, but you know it was decent. I thought it was a really decent Champions League like it's gonna performance. Be, it's going to be tough for him, isn't it? That Quebec, um, he yeah. I think obviously he's played Leipzig before. He would come from Schalke, mm. so he's um, he will yeah, know new. he will know what to make of them. Um, but he worried me in the Leicester game. And nothing to do with the mistake with Allison. I'm just talking other stuff, but um, I think he's obviously young. He's a bit naive, um, and it's a bit like the Leicester game. He was right up Vardy's ass every chance he got. And if you have an experienced defender on that pitch, you know just to give him a yard, and because and, if you get right up Vardy's ass, he's just going to turn you and get him behind. And yeah. and then on uh, on Saturday, uh, Saturday, yeah. On mm-hmm. Saturday, mm-hmm. he yeah. he did a pretty similar thing with um, Richarlison. Just looked looked too keen at times, maybe to to um, to want it, to want to yeah. win the ball and stuff like that. And maybe I think the occasion got the better of a few people. In I think I think yeah. Trent I think Trent was our best player, but yeah, but but also got caught out of position a few times because. Because he was pushing forward so much because he wanted, because he just wanted the win. I think the same happened with Curtis Jones, where he he just He's wanted to force it. it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like you know. Let's not um, let's not beat around the bush. I thought Everton probably played some of their best football they have done in a while. I think they took their chances well. Um, yeah, yeah. I think they did. I think they've got a real um, the real. I mean, Cal- Calvert Lewin coming on. He was fantastic. He's a mm. he's a real piece of work. Um yeah. he is a real piece of work. He's a, he's handsome as well, isn't he? He is a handsome man. You can't take that away from him. He, um but um I think he was fantastic. Um I, I you know what? I was speaking to our Jack again at the weekend about um you know what Liverpool miss and and what Liverpool miss right now when, when chips are against them is is a horror. Is like that that win at all costs narc that will just drag teams through. And and Richarlison looked that player for Everton mm. at the weekend. Like like he he kicks the ball away. He's in your face. He's he, you know you you hate playing against him, but you'd love to have him playing for you. And it goes back to that that type of player Suarez was that. You probably hate playing against him, but how fantastic he mm. was, and he was win at all costs. Like Gerard, I, there wasn't a single player on that pitch on sun, on Saturday for Liverpool that I thought he's going to go right through him here. He's going to mm. go right I through him, we... leave it on him, let him know he's there. But the, the, we are too nice, so flimsy, so wet at times. It's really frustrating. We're we're, we're treating teams. With too much respect at the moment, and we, and that's because we called back in the last season because we were just so effortless, effortlessly much more better than a lot of teams. So we were able to give them that that respect, and we we've not we and we've just been doing that too much this season. And as you said, we're we're missing that type of player that's going to grab that grab the game by the scruff of the neck and I, just I like, and force something through. I don't care what anyone says, whether it's whether it's Sunday league, whether it's playing with your mates when you were younger, whether it's playing five a side, or or whether it's Premier League football. The last game against Everton, Jordan Pickford did did Virgil van Dijk's ACL. 
and then Richarlison injured Thiago for a few weeks. Yeah, and they 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 well he does everywhere. Left it in on us. They they were really rough with us. I don't care what standard of football you're playing at. If you're not in the dressing room before that game and you're not saying I'm going to I'm going to fucking leave one in on him this I'm you know after what he did in the last game after what he did in the last game how how no one's just landed one on Richarlison early doors or similar with we you know how how none of them have gone I'm going to let them know I'm here but we don't have that player and we, and that's what's no. frustrating for me at the moment is they're so wet they are so the, wet the front the front three to me, at the moment, feel like a different team to the rest of them. They yeah. they just feel a million miles away. There, there seems to be no cohesion there at all. Um, you know, and I'm not I'm not sitting here and I'm going to make excuses. Listen, Everton were the better team. They were, as you said, they were able to take their chances better. I made up right after 22 years of complete <laughs> misery, right? And I wouldn't. It wouldn't be the podcast unless I. Threw me ten pence in. Twenty two years <laughs> of utter misery, and I'm made up that they can have a little something, right? You you don't. I, I tell you what, I'll a load of, and I'll do these in inverted commas. All of a sudden, the loads of Everton fans were popping up on my face on my uh, my news feed. They had no idea they were Everton fans, no idea they were football fans. So I made up for them. They got a little win there, well in. And I made up for loads of Everton wives as well because they got laid for the first time in 22 <laughs> years. Right? They got a bit of sex. I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a ma- an absolute baby boom of Everton supporters oh, that's in nine la- months' time. That's the last thing we need. The wives got laid for the first time they're made up. They're actually they're actually happy. So listen, if you've got to do that, come to Anfield and get your first win in a long time. Then I, it was another moment of of Facebook horrendousness for me when yeah. you know when you say um, you you hate people, especially the woman whose child you've watched grow up. What's yeah, his yeah, name? yeah. Little little Johnny or little whatever. Johnny. Yeah, yeah, we hate him. Um, mm. I've got a woman on Facebook who. Um, radio silence for I'd say I'm not really seeing a post for a year um, and then on Saturday by 8 o'clock there was a she'd made a wanted poster she'd made a wanted poster and she was the picture on the wanted poster and it was like wanted and it was like not being seen since the final whistle and it was her in her, in her Everton kit and it was like out having a mad one if you see her, let her know her husband where she is. And I just, I actually, for 10 minutes, was scrolling down on her Facebook to find the last time she'd posted about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was, it's fucking embarrassing. They come crawling out the woodwork. And we've got some very close friends who, who are decent blues. And to yeah. them, I say... They're also gobshites. Yeah. And I, I, to them, I say, well done savour it because I, I I physically can't put myself in the same shoes as someone who's had to live in the shadow of us for so long. It must yeah. have been horrendous, Al. So, been... And we sound bit and we sound bitter. We're taking a leaf out of their book. It right? must have been cold. It mu- it must have been cold. <laughs> Just to hear the roar from over Stanley Park. Gosh, I can't even I can't even think. But listen, if you're listening blues, well done. You've got yourselves a win. You were the better team on the day. That's that. I mean, that's literally it. That's uh, and you're like, oh, brilliant. We've got a win against the Reds. That's it. I'm still made up. We won the Champions League. I'm still made up. We won the league. So uh, I'm still made up. We were we were champions of the world. <laughs> Someone put on Facebook. Um, yeah, oh, we won it six times. We won it six times. Ah ha ha ha. Then loads are laughing. And then put something like, um, "What a dar- what a derby win! Great to win at Anfield." And I just commented, "Yeah, we have won it six times." And then he put, "Yeah, yeah, whatever." And then another bit, another load back to me, and I just responded, "And uh, did call me bitter if you want, but all I said was, I'd rather win it six times than no times. We've been yeah. shit for two months. You've been shit for forty years." <laughs> 
put, um, the, put the champagne on ice. Well, just like I said, Andy, um, null and void it. I think we should just null and void null it. Null and void it. Look, listen, we're in a strange season. Get rid. The, um, you know what? Like, in all seriousness, right? I Listen, I said to you, we just need to... I don't even know whether that'll be feasible now in terms of top four. We just... I, I, I hate to say it. I find myself going, oh, I just need to get to the end of the season here. Like, just get to the end of the season. Get everyone back fit. Although I have seen that Jota's now doing full training. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, because I do think I think someone likes the likes of Bobby Firmino needs maybe rotating slightly, not not slightly, very, yeah. very, very much so. Yeah, yeah. Um, what but a shame. Uh, and then it, when you look at all the other <laughs> all the other results over the weekend, <laughs> that, Leicester got a win. We United ji- got a win. City got a win. I think we jinxed yeah. it because last week we said everyone had a bad week apart from City, but. Well, but, um, have you noticed as well? I think we've jinxed it as a whole ever since we started this podcast. We've had we've not been able to be like, yeah, we had two games. Didn't we had West Ham. We had Tottenham, two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which has been nice. They've been nice. Well, I, won't, I won't shoulder the blame, but no, you know. No. But um, yeah, I, do you know what? I just think we're we're clearly missing a lot of players at the moment. Play, very very influential players. Yeah. So, you know, who knows when they are able to come back, what we're going to be looking like. But, and I'll say it once, I've said it once, I'll say it again. The backing of the gaffer, Jürgen yeah, he's Klopp. He's got it. He's got it from us, 100%. Anyone who sits there and says he needs to go, who are who are Liverpool fans, take your fucking, take your face for a shit. <laughs> yeah. Because take I'll your face for a shit. Yeah. And then so. sit on some cake. Um, we... Listen, final final comment on the Everton thing. Yes. Well done. I'm glad you're all happy. All I'll say is, first thing Roberto said to me, I'll get you in the Champions, Champions League. League. <laughs> hey, they might. You they never might, know. They might. They, they might. might. But then again, I have seen pigs fly. So, Listen, it doesn't even matter anyway. Liverpool have completed the Premier League. They want to win. The, the thing they want to win now... Is the yeah. Maltese Premier League? Welcome to the Maltese Premier League here on the Man On Podcast. Now that is unbelievable. It's another <laughs> fucking jingle. <laughs> Mate, I'm um, going to call this episode J- Jingle All the Way. Oh, yeah. Featuring right. Arnie. Two of us got a great result again uh, at yeah, the weekend. Yeah, yeah. All things considered, mate, we're, you know, not really bothered about Liverpool that much when the the Hibernian Liverpool. boys are on the bounce. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I forgot you were following that team. Oh, right. Here we go again. I think you forget sometimes. Here, <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. Oh, Hibernians this, Hibernians that. 5 nil. Who cares? Hey, I, actually, I've, mm. let's, I don't even really care about the Maltese Premier League, if I'm honest. What do you, you mean? You know what I'm che- You know who I'm checking up on right now. Breast. Oh, bloody hell, they got beat again. <laughs> Friday night, they got beat under the lights by Leon. Of course they did. Listen, I want to go back to the Maltese Premier League because... There's, there's just no rest for Breast. No, no, there isn't. But listen... You you deviating away from the fact that Valletta got another win, one yeah. nil, right? So I'm going to celebrate that. We're seventh. We're looking good. We had a bit of a wobble, a couple of weeks, but we're back in, and we're looking to get as high as we can, and then reassess our situation come the new season. Ah, uh, you might finish strong, mate. You might finish strong. Don't don't patronise me again. Listen, uh-huh. I'm not a you. I'm not every a fucking week. Every week. Don't mention Zumba now. What are you talking about? I'm just saying. I Zumba. D- d- I'm not. I'm not patronising you. I'm not a Zumba instructor. <laughs> but um, yeah, Maltese Premier League. If anyone's watching and following, make sure to uh, celebrate your results. We are eventually. Uh, we're we're organising a lads holiday. Yeah. <laughs> to go to Malta when Bozza lets us out. Lads on tour. 
we're going we're going to Malta. We'll do two weeks of games. Yeah. And I'll and I will personally do a uh, a tour of the island for you. And you were and you you want to in, interview a few lads over there, don't you? Yes, yes, we do. So uh, we might be able to get a few lads in to interview actually a couple of the players, which I think would be amazing. So if imagine anyone wants that. to hear that, imagine that, mate. Oh, it'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? Just be like, what's it like playing in the Maltese Premier League? Mate, we could talk talk to anything. a couple of the Hibernians lads about the history of the club and the history. No. Well, it'll be a short. It'll be a short podcast. <laughs> Whereas if you get someone from Valletta. There's oh, history, God. there's pomp and circumstance, there's everything. God. You'd be like, oh, Hibernians, what are they like? Oh, I don't know, mate. I can only tell you the last one year. Listen, Hibernians have got their own Tiago, and he scored twice this weekend. Yeah, see, you're a Nottingborough conglomerate. I'll have nothing to do with you. Fern- Fernandinho, a pap. <laughs> <laughs> he scored. Yeah. And a Jürgen. Oh, I've seen that, actually. Yeah. yeah. And they've got a Jürgen. Yeah, um, I want nothing to do with it, mate. But unfortunately, Ham run another win for them at the weekend, which uh, an 84th, 84th minute winner for them, which is annoying. Can you but, believe um, it? But we, we, we're chasing. We are chasing hard. Yeah, well, I want Ham run to win it now, just to spite yeah, you. Of course you do. Because you're just jealous of the, of the rich history of Hibernians FC. No, no, no. Rich. Yeah. History. No. None. Zero. Kaput. I actually found out what city Hibernians are in last week. Oh, yeah. Um, but I forgot. I think it's like Paola. How's it spelled? I think like like Paolo Nutini. <laughs> P-A-O-L-A. In the town oh, of right. the town of Paola. You see, you've had to look this up as well. Yeah, which well, is sad. Listen, you're the Maltese <laughs> expert. I am. Listen, mate. I can tell you loads of stuff about Valletta. It's a town You'll in the. Love it. It's a town in the southeast region of Malta. Southeast. Yeah. The town. Right. The town is a commercial centre in the southern harbour area of Malta, about five kilometres from the capital Valletta. I mean, everywhere is five kilometres from the capital. <laughs> Fair it's enough. It's a small place. No, but um. I'll tell you right. I'll tell you. I'll take you to where you're from, where you're playing. It'd be a field with cows in, right? And then I'll take you to Valletta. Mwah. Lovely stuff. I'll take you to the gun post, Al. Gun post is unreal. What's the gun post? It's a it's a bar, right? Which um, used to be a gun post in the war. Obviously, and then it overlooks all of like Valletta, uh, all the harbour and stuff like that. Oh. You can sit there, right? And then there's the wall and then a sheer drop because it's on a cliff edge, right? So you're really high up, sitting there, couple of chisks, couple of burgers. Mate, that sounds like the dream. So, yeah, so there you go, Al. Sounds like the dream we need. So that was uh, we can Valletta. Head, we can head to Paola. We can head to Paola, watch the mighty Hibernians. Well, I'll let you do that. No one's going to want to be interested in that. It's, it, but it's, it, Listen, I said it last week, I'll say it again. It's like City. City don't get the attendance no. either. I doubt Hibernians do. <laughs> <laughs> the, listen, I'm looking now. It looks great. It looks really nice there. What, Valletta? No, Paola. No, get past that, mate. Shit. It's um, St. Paul's Square. I think I might be on Rome here. I think you are. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> so but yeah, go. good week for both of us in the Maltese League. Poor yeah. week for both of us in the Premier League. Yeah, so we'll just have to wait and see eh, what happens. We can um, we can only hope for better things. Maybe Liverpool take a leaf out of um, out of Hibernian's book and uh, um, <laughs> what and buy the league. No thanks. Have, are yeah. you sure that's what they're all about? That's what's in my head, and that's what's sticking. All right. Oh, well, fair enough. I'll give so, you that. And, and they've climbed up really quickly, in my opinion. So I want nothing to do with it. You're just jealous because we're second and we're going to go We're gonna go for the title. I'm jealous of anything, Al. All right. Just because really? all my teams at the moment are failing me. We've only got a couple of wins. You're not, even Obama, jealous, so. you're not even jealous of Barack Obama? Why would I be jealous of a Barack Obama? Because you think Michelle Obama is all kinds of juicy. Oh, Michelle Obama. 
Did you see her at the inauguration? I, d- I haven't watched the inauguration, but you have told me that... She's all kinds of thick and juicy, Al. You, you are a fan, aren't you? Oh, I'm a big fan. A big, big fan. And I've had clearance off the bus. That, that if it was on the table... No, 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 no. Just, you know, yeah, I can talk about Michelle Obama. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's lovely. Yeah, I think I think it's because I'm into powerful women. Oh, really, yeah? Yeah, how can you not be? What other powerful women are you into? I've not really thought about it, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, I'll, I'll name a few for you. Oh, okay. Oh, let's play Snog, Marry, Avoid, Andy's Powerful uh, Women this week. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're going to take... We'll, we'll do a couple. Okay. Powerful Women in History... Yeah, and we're going to play Snog, Marry, Avoid, Andy Roberts. Jesus. Okay, we've got... Let's start with Michelle Obama. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, We're going to have Margaret Thatcher in there as well. Mm. Yeah. You already know the answer. I know the answer to that one. And Jackie Kennedy. Oh. (whistles) I'd kill Margaret Thatcher. Oh, no, it's just Avoid. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> it's just a voice uh, it's just a voice okay I've, all right well kill margaret thatcher yeah um and i would i would snog jackie kennedy okay and i would marry michelle obama all right okay easy easy mate so did you see what she was wearing did you see what she was wearing i haven't the seen it but you you have said um I've said, oh. You said it, it's, you know, she she's... There was the only good thing about the inauguration, really. She's pretty special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, okay. So. Next up, Rosa Parks. Right. Emily and Pankhurst. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Florence Nightingale. I would... Oh, God. I would snog Rosa Parks. Yeah. And then I would, um, I would marry Emily a Pankhurst. Yeah. And I would avoid Florence Nightingale. Why are you avoiding Florence? She's just going to be a pain in the ass, isn't she? Oh, I think I, I think there's another one that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Who? Emily Pankhurst. <laughs> <laughs> you set me up, you knobhead. You said it. Yeah. True. Right. Good one. Uh. Right, number three. The Virgin Mary. Okay. Yeah. Princess Di. Ooh. Dawn French. Say him again. The Virgin Mary. Okay, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Princess Di. Yeah. Dawn French. I would uh, avoid the Virgin Mary. All right, okay. For obvious reasons. Yeah, too much. She, you know, she won't let me have a go. <coughs> and then uh, I would... Um, uh, ooh. I'd snog Dawn French everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Cause she's hilarious. And then I'd marry Princess Di because she is the people's princess. The people's princess. Well, I think that's a fair shout, actually. Uh, let's, so. Should we do two more? Hey. Two more. Two more. Go got, on ta- then. got time for two more, yeah? I got time. I've got all the time in the world. Okay. Cleopatra. Ooh. Meryl Streep. Ooh. Mother Teresa. Oh, avoid Mother Teresa. <laughs> Straight off. Right. Why are we avoiding uh, Mother? Um, and then I would snog Cleopatra. Yeah. Because I would snog her, but you wouldn't marry her because I think she'd be a handful. And then obviously you'd marry Meryl Streep. All right, fair enough. Uh, that, uh, straight off the bat, Al. You're knocking him out of the bag. You're knocking him out of yeah. the bag. All right? Yeah. Next yeah. one. Joan of Arc. I mean, n- not that we're to know what Joan of Arc w- looked like. So that's a, mm, yeah. just, that's a tough one, really, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know um, who Joan of Arc was? Yeah, she was French, wasn't she? Lived in an <laughs> arc. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, then. Wasn't she married to Noah? <laughs> yeah. 
She's a bit of a narc. Noah Ark and Joan Ark. Okay, who have you got? Go on. Uh, it's a tough one, this, actually, because uh, Joan was only 17. Well, okay, right. Go on, who's I mean, the rest? I mean, you, you can have Joan at whatever age <laughs> you want her at, but she's 17 in this article. Right. Um, Didn't she get burnt at the stake at 17? I think maybe, yeah, uh, but... Right, okay. I'm, what I'm, are the others? I don't know what you're into, you see. You do, and it's not that. Uh, okay, Joan of Arc, Winnie Mandela. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Julie Walters. Oh, okay. I'm avoiding Joan of Arc straight off the bat. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to snog the... Willie Mandela. Oh, all right. And then I'm obviously going to marry... Julie. Um, yeah. You're going to marry Julie Walters, aren't you? You've got to. She's a- another woman who's hilarious. Yeah. I'd love to meet her. I, I'm i a huge fan of Julie Walters. Oh, who isn't? Have you seen her in Dinner I'm, Ladies? I'm a huge fan of of all the women on the list. Right, well, I know you're being diplomatic. I'm not being diplomatic. Uh, I, I like all the women on there. Shut up. You, do you not like <laughs> Winnie Mandela or... So that I don't like Willie Mandela. It's just she's not come up on me radar. You just called her Willie for one, right? Oh, sorry, Winnie. <laughs> I don't think this can go out. Willie Mandela, right? <laughs> uh, I, I am a big fan of all of them and all the things. I'm not quite sure what Winnie Mandela did. I yeah, think she was. Right. I think she was pretty naughty. Is that fence comfortable enough under your bum? <laughs> It's not a fence, it's cake. <laughs> you know what I like the most? Cake, cake farts. farts. <laughs> oh right, should we leave it there, mate? I think we should. Yeah. Uh, good fun. Oh, as always, it's great fun. Yeah. As always, it's great fun. And a lot of people have been saying to us that it feels like we're in their front living room, which I love. Yeah. Because we're not even in our front living room. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not in our front living room. I'm in the business centre. Yeah, yeah. And I'm in my bedroom. Which is, and you're in your bedroom. So, you know. But um, as always, as we always say, thank you for tuning in to us. It is, it is our pleasure to be coming in your ears. Unreal. <laughs> Keep that. I think that should be our slogan. Cut, yeah. Man on the podcast, coming in your ears. Our pleasure. To come in your ears. In your ears, yeah. But as always, everyone that's listening, if you're feeling great, celebrate it. If you're not, then talk to someone about it. That's it, that's it. it. And that's all you need to do. And never stop getting in touch with your stories and things that you've done. And um, we'll be back next week. In the words of Journey, don't stop believing. (laughs) See you next week. Taking the piss as always. (laughs) Bye, everyone. Bye.